welcome to another video in this video I will teach you about uh, line integrals yes. line integrals okay for line integral I will first try to explain what exactly the meaning of line integral you know very well work done is equal to integration of f ds so if one particle moves from A to B and force is varies along the path so you are required to find out the work by integration of force at that particular point multiply it with ds and integrate the whole path similarly suppose one particle is moving from along this line y is equal to x square and you are required to find out the work done from A to B so force is acting on the particle by this formula so how can you calculate the work by F dot ds applying the same rule here so if F uh, is f is a vector quantity and it is dependent upon the position r and r is also a vector quantity so work can be calculated by this formula this type of equation is called line integral if you expand it w is equal to twice x y unit vector i plus x square y unit vector j dot dr dr means dx i unit vector i plus dy j unit vector j so if you perform the calculation you will get the line integral and you know the dot multiplication if you multiply this vector with this vector with dot multiplication you will get answer twice x y multiplied by dx twice x y dx plus x square y dy and you are also required to find out the range now you know the line line is y is equal to x square so dy is equal to twice x into dx if you put this formula here you will get if you want to uh, put only one variable here you replace y with x you will get twice x into x square dx plus x square y means x to the power 4 and dy means twice x dx which is equal to twice x cube dx plus twice x to the power 5 dx now you are required to find out the range of x if you see the x it is vary from 2 to 1 so you are required to put here range 1 to 2 and twice x cube plus twice x 5 x to 5 dx so if you find out the integral value of this you will get the result now the integration of uh, this equation is twice x to the power 4 by 4 plus twice x to the power 6 by 6 2 1 so this is equal to x to the power 4 by 2 plus x to the power 6 by 3 2 1 that is equal to 2 to the power 4 
by 2 plus 2 to the power 6 by 3 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 so this is the answer you can calculate the value by calculating it that's it for this video thank you